One of the features of the media encoder is that you can add multiple outputs to a single source. For instance, to this one I already added the Vimeo preset, but I want a YouTube and a iPad version of it as well. To do that, I can just drag the YouTube preset underneath this one and it will be added to this item. Another way to duplicate an output is to select the item and click on this Add Output button. Instead of going to the preset browser as an alternative, I can actually use this drop down menu and look for the iPad version that I want. Now the next thing I might want to do is change the naming because the names are now rather similar and it might be helpful to distinguish them later. So the first one I'll add Vimeo to the name, the second one I'll add YouTube and the third one I'll add iPad and I also saw that it is pointing to another folder so I'll choose the exports folder so they all now go to the same place. Actually, this can be done in a more clever way. If you go to the preferences, and on the Mac it's underneath the media encoder menu item, and on Windows it's underneath edit, you'll see this little option here, append preset name to file name. That will add the preset name to the file name, allowing for better distinguishing the files after encoding. So I'll hit OK, and now I'll add a few other clips to my queue. So these two, I'll just drag them from the finder. You can do this from Explorer as well. I select them both, and now I want to add the Vimeo preset to them. Actually, I can do that by just double-clicking on the preset that I want, and it will be applied to both of them. If I now select them both again, and double-click on the YouTube version, those presets will be added as well. And as you can see, the name of the preset is now also added to this item. And just to illustrate, if I select everything and I choose, for instance, the Kindle preset, the Kindle preset will now also be added and the name of the preset is added to the output file. Now I can hit start and have Media Encoder crunch all these files for me. 